John Hickman is sports here. And today, we want to talk about possibly trading back. So, last couple days, there's been rumors that the Lions might take in a line, which seems like a trade bait for the Giants. And they would basically already have an agreement with the Dolphins to trade for the five pick. Is another rumor. So, I don't, I just don't see no way imaginable the Giants trade up literally with as many tackles there are in the draft, especially as good as they are, too. I mean, it seems like a rumor the Lions have put out there themselves to get a call from New York, and just, I don't think it's going to work. But maybe this rumor signals the Lions aren't getting offers, or any offers that they like, so I don't really care if the Lions trade back, because I want the Giants to work out a trade with the Jaguars, and they might only move up if Akuda's still on the board, so we could swap picks with Jacksonville and get their second, or possibly Yannick Ngakwe could be part of a deal. Um, we really could use Yannick on his defense. Because I believe like, with, with Yannick, we, we really would only need a slot corner or a safety. And I, I believe it would be a solid defense at that point. So I think Leonard Williams hasn't signed his franchise tag yet. So this move might push Gettleman to reset the tag, which I feel like a large percentage of Giant fans want. Um, the ninth pick should get us a tackle. But if there's like a little mini run on them, we could grab a corner, CJ Henderson possibly, and then we'd have the two second round picks to fill out the roster, which would be nice. Ultimately, the best trade back would be trade back with the Dolphins, and then get the five pick, and then trade with the Chargers, and we could just get piles of second, third rounders. But I mean, that's pretty much just a pipe dream. <laughs> But that's my thoughts on possibly trading back. And there are reports I just saw today of how long they've been out. <clears throat> but the Jaguars and the Raiders are in negotiations with uh, the Raiders possibly receiving Yannick for the 15th pick. But that just seems like a lot for Yannick. I, I just don't know. Um, at the end of the day, I, I want to get a safety or a slot corner in here because that's my number one concern. And my number two concern is this O line. I mean, it's time this O line becomes functional at a minimum. Well, we owe that much to Jones and Barkley. You know, Barkley might say in a year or two, he wants out of here if, if we don't get this thing fixed. And we're going on a decade now for O lines. And we're the Giants. We're supposed to be this grinded out, smash mouth football team. So let's get back to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So another thing I want to touch on is, you know, I keep hearing people say, Build it slow. Don't bring in big dollar free agents. And I get that train of thought, but I just completely disagree with it. I mean, your best chances of winning championships nowadays is to have a quarterback on a rookie contract, which we do, so you can afford to have bigger contracts on players you couldn't normally afford. So the amount these, just the amount these quarterbacks are making nowadays is ridiculous, and you only have a few years to really make a run at it. So I'm not saying you can't win a Super Bowl while paying a quarterback. But your probability goes way down once you have to fork out the big dollars. So I say yes to just about every big free agent, as long as we can get out of that contract by the time Jones' contract comes up. So, anyways, I'm not going to do a mock draft, so beat death, and I'm sure everyone is just sick of hearing the same names. You know, I made a few videos this year, and, and players we could take with our second, third round pick. After that, I mean, it's anyone's guess. It's a wash. So there's no sense in really going too much into it. But uh, that's my video. <laughs> the time is here, folks. Draft night. Yay. So everyone enjoy tonight, and we'll have a lot more to talk about for the next couple of weeks, which would be nice. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell for all my future videos, and stay safe, folks.